you guys? It's your girl Imani here. I'm back for another video and today is episode 5 of my Watch Day series. If you guys have not seen the rest of this series, make sure you go ahead. I'm going to put the playlist up here or down in the description box, whichever one, for you guys to check out the rest of the episodes because I am going in order of how I wash my hair. So make sure you guys check out my pre-poos, my shampoos, my deep conditioner, and my leave-in conditioner videos before you go ahead and watch. All right, it is episode five. Today we are talking about moisturizing after the wash. These are the products that I use to seal all that moisture in, whether it's a cream, a butter, and then I'm also gonna be talking about the oils that I use to seal all of that in after that. All right, without further ado, episode five. All right guys, so I am not going to go into great detail about how each of these makes me feel because I actually have a lot of them that I really love and wanted to share with you guys, but just know that I am sharing them all with you because they're my favorite. And they do exactly what I need for them to do. I feel a lot of moisture in my hair. The moisture stays in my hair for multiple days after my wash day, which is what, you know, we all want because we don't want to have to dunk our head in water every single day after we wash our hair. You know, we need that moisture to stay in there, stay put. They all penetrate my hair really nicely. I have low porosity hair. I don't feel like I have product just sitting on top of my strands. They penetrate my hair really nicely. And depending on how I'm styling my hair, you know, like let's say it's a twist out, a braid out, whatever, you know, my hair comes out, comes out pretty bomb when I use these products. So, all right, let's list them. My first favorite is the Curls and Potions Plum and Pumpkin Seed Oil One and Done Coil Cream. Love this one. This is actually a all-in-one where it can be combined as a leave-in, a styler, a detangler, a moisturizer, all that. So I still tend to use a leave-in with it, but only a little bit. And this really does a job. If you guys haven't seen the video that I use this product, make sure you check that out. I'll link it up above where I did a twist out with this and my twist out came out amazing. My next favorite is the Talia Wajid Curly Curl Cream. This one feels like I don't even need like any kind of oil or anything like that to seal it all in. It just feels like it's sealing in the moisture right there. Not only that, but it's an amazing styler. When I put it on my hair, my hair is like super curly. All my curls and coils curl and coil up perfectly. And it is great when I'm doing a wash and go because it really holds that moisture in without drying it out from when the gel come on top. So y'all already knew I had to throw in a niche beauty product because like, I'm telling y'all, I really love their line. My next favorite is the Mish Beauty Quenched Hydrating and Twisting Butter. Just like the rest of Mish Beauty products, y'all, like I do not feel the need to have to re-moisturize my hair almost that entire week when using it and twisting with this. Y'all, my twists are so defined. When I use this product, it's very creamy. It smells, again, like candy. I love this stuff. I love, I love me. Y'all already know that. My next favorite is the Alake Natural Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. This one has the consistency like a raw shea butter that you put on your body. It's very whipped. It's very thick. This is a brand new jar, by the way. It also smells like candy and the way it rubs in. You see that? That's all the way in. Like it doesn't need much in order to penetrate my strands. It's another one that once it's in, you do not have to moisturize your hair almost at all until the next wash day. So long as wash day is like, you know, within that week or so. My next favorite is the Tailored Beauty Moisturizing Mist. This one isn't meant to be a styler, but as far as moisturizing my hair, like in between washes, like especially when my hair is in a protective style like this, or when I have twists in, it is just really easy to just go on ahead. And I'm doing it right now, because I didn't moisturize yet today. Somebody had asked me how I moisturize my hair when it's in a protective style like this or in twists, and this is pretty much what I use, and it definitely refreshes and moisturizes my hair really easily. My last favorite moisturizer, don't, don't leave yet though, because we didn't get to oils, is actually brand new, I just used this this week last week it is actually a leave-in but I think I'm gonna use it more as a moisturizer just like whenever it is the curl pop curl hydration 
Say Goodbye to Dry Curls by Diva by Cindy. This one was absolutely amazing at just re-moisturizing my twist when my hair was still like very dry, like in its dry state putting it onto my hair. It penetrated my strands really nicely and it didn't weigh my hair down. So this is definitely a new favorite of mine. I had to throw that one in there. And finally last, we're gonna talk about oils just a little bit, a little bit, because I don't use oils like that. But I do have two favorites that help seal my hair very well and they're very lightweight and since doing scalp massages with them, I feel like my scalp feels nice and tingly and I really do feel like I'm getting a lot more growth because of them. The first one, y'all don't kill me, I know. Mish Beauty again. But yes, the first favorite is the Mish Beauty Polish Hair and Scalp Oil. It has a combination of argan and jojoba oils in it and it is a very lightweight formula which is what my hair needs. Again, low porosity and I do not want to weigh my hair down with anything but especially oil because then getting more moisture into my hair is just going to be super hard so this one is a great one when it comes to sealing my hair and then my last favorite for the whole day my last favorite oil is the allocate naturals essential 17 hair growth oil this is an oil that i particularly use um for scalp massages it leaves my hair super tingly and just like it feels amazing when i do a scalp massage with this oil sometimes i heat it up sometimes i don't it has these like little specks in it which they say it is it is like horsetail powder and all you gotta do is just shake it up to get it from the bottom to mix it all up in there and they say that that is kind of like what gives it the hair growth like you know properties and stuff like that for this oil and y'all see I've been using it quite often so those are my favorite moisturizers whether I'm using it at the very end of my wash day or even just in between wash days when I need a little bit of a refresher and a little bit of moisture I hope you guys enjoy this one as usual please comment below what your favorite moisturizers are as I'm really writing down some of the ideas that you guys are giving me that I feel like I need to try. So please comment that down below and make sure you stay tuned. Friday is our last day of this wash day favorite series where I talk about gels. That's right. Cause you know your girl like a good wash and go and a good wash and go come with what? Gels. All right guys, I will see you for the next one. Bye.